Demographics including population, household, and employment trends and projections are an important base of information for city planning. Population, household, and employment projections are used when planning for the city's housing, transportation, economy, parks and recreation, and public facilities. The city's official demographic projections are recorded in the city's comprehensive plan. The comprehensive plan is a long-range planning document that identifies and plans for physical development of the city. The City of Falls Church last updated its demographic projections in 2018. The Comprehensive Plan Chapter 2, People, Housing and Jobs, was adopted on August 12, 2019 and incorporated those 2018 projections. The City is updating the 2019 Demographics Chapter to reflect the demographics data of the City of Falls Church today. This process kicked off in February 2024 and is scheduled to wrap up by June of 2024. The first phase of this effort was a demographic study conducted between August 2023 and January 2024. The second phase, which is ongoing now, incorporates those projections into a revised comprehensive plan chapter and explores the connections between projections and future community needs. Phase one, demographic study. The City of Falls Church General Government and Falls Church City Public Schools collaborated with the Stephen Fuller Institute of George Mason University on a demographic study in fall 2023. The study produced a regional trends report and updated demographic projections. The regional trends report detailed recent demographic trends in the Northern Virginia area generally and the City of Falls Church specifically. Notable trends include Population. Resident population has fluctuated by less than 1%, about 150 people, each year since 2018. There's currently 14,600 residents in the City of Falls Church. Population and percentage of school-age residents remained stable during the pandemic. The percentage of wealthier, more educated residents increased compared to five years ago. Housing. The City of Falls Church has just over 6,500 housing units, about 1,000 of which have been added in the last 10 years. As of 2022, well over half of the housing units in the city, 3,600, were multifamily housing. 25 to 26 percent of homeowners are cost burdened, 7 percent of which are severely cost burdened. 35 percent of renters are cost burdened, 15 percent of which are severely cost burdened. Compared to five years ago, the percentage of households with children has increased from 31% to 36%. Employment. There are approximately 11,500 jobs in the city. Although employment has rebounded from the early shocks of the pandemic, the city has yet to recover to pre-pandemic levels. The city's four largest industries are education and health services, 24% of jobs, professional and business services, 19% of jobs, trade, transportation, and utilities, 17% of jobs, and leisure and hospitality, 16% of jobs. Compared to five years ago, the city has experienced employment gains in three of the city's largest industries, education and health, trade and transit, leisure and hospitality. Employment in professional and business services has declined. The expected population in 2025 is 16,394, with a total of 7,333 households. By 2050, the projected population is 20,103, living in 9,451 households. These numbers are reflective of a strong local and regional economy, as well as changes in household composition. Phase two, updating people, housing, and jobs the Demographics Chapter of the Comprehensive Plan. Chapter 2 of the Comprehensive Plan is being updated now. The updates to the sections on trends and forecasts are based on the demographic study completed in Phase 1. The Connections and Strategies section explores the following topics of general community interest. Housing availability and affordability, employment, public facilities and services, and changing conditions. For each of these topic areas, the draft chapter includes strategies that are motivated by the community's 2040 vision statement, 
which was unanimously adopted by the City Council in 2017. The vision statement is included in Chapter 1 of the City's Comprehensive Plan and reads, In the year 2040, the City of Falls Church is a welcoming and inclusive community, a special place in the heart of Northern Virginia. Involved citizens are key to the City's long-term success as a leader in education, environmental sustainability, multimodal transportation, and vibrant economic development. By investing in neighborhoods, community services, and facilities, schools, and parks, the city preserves small town character and history while honoring a deep commitment to progress in a growing community. The continual rejuvenation of robust commercial areas supports the city's high quality of life for all citizens. The vision is supported by the following strategies. Housing availability and affordability. Strategy one. Continue to utilize the comprehensive plan and zoning ordinance as growth management tools, guiding development into the most appropriate areas of the city. Strategy two, review and revise city policies to reflect the city's demographics and plan for adequate housing availability. Strategy three, continue to utilize policy tools to support affordability needs for a range of household incomes, sizes, and ages. Strategy four, Consider policies to diversify the city's housing stock to support anticipated future household needs. Employment. Strategy one, support small business entrepreneurship. Promote growth and retention of the city's small businesses. Strategy two, foster growth of existing industries in Falls Church. Encourage investments and policies that support these industry sectors. Strategy three, as the city evolves economically, promote policies that increase the supply of workforce housing. Public facilities and utilities. Strategy one, continue to assess projected public facility impacts and needs using segmented household characteristics. For example, housing tenure and number of bedrooms. Strategy two, when designing public facilities, plan for both the needs of the current population and the anticipated needs of future populations throughout the useful life of the investment. Strategy three, when planning for public safety needs, plan for the needs of the current population and the anticipated needs based on projected population increases. Strategy four, increase parks and public open spaces to be enjoyed by the city's growing population. Continued monitoring. Strategy one, monitor and participate in demographic forecasting exercises conducted by MW COG, Cooperative Forecasting, the Weldon Cooper Center, George Mason University, and the Virginia Employment Commission. Strategy two, update the city's demographic projections at least once every five years to maintain up-to-date baseline data to inform development decisions and initiatives. Thank you for tuning in to this video on the demographics chapter update. If you would like to learn more about the update, attend upcoming public meetings, or provide comments, please visit the project webpage at fallschurchva.gov slash demographics chapter.